In today's demo, I'm going to show you how you can find the best deals on Craigslist. We're going to combine traditional Python web scraping with ChatGPT to quickly automate and decipher the absolute best deals on Craigslist and to send you a notification. I'm now going to show you a working demo where we actually do the web scraping of Craigslist. We get 50 car listings. We send all of those to ChatGPT and it immediately tells us which is the best deal. So here is the demo. Let's go ahead and run this. What it's doing is it's popping up Craigslist. So search for vehicles in Houston against a certain price range, and then it's going to grab 50 of those vehicles and immediately shove those to ChatGPT and ask, which is the best deal? So here is the answer that came back. It looks like it is the Ford Fusion wins for $3,000, 2013. And here's all the reasons why it believes that is true. It also sends an email update, pop over here to my email, and you can see that it tells me all this information in my email. Before we get started, we need to install Python dash dot env ice cream and selenium we also need to install open ai so we're going to use a particular version which is 0 0.28 before we get started come over here and create a dot env file in this dot env file it's going to hold your open ai api key you'll put it here and then also your google token that's going to be used to log into your email and to send the updated email here are all the packages we're going to use selenium for the scraping uh, os.env, ice cream, smtp, lib for the emailing, uh, email message, open AI, of course, to talk to the LLM, and then time. First thing we're going to do is come in here and do a .env load env, and then we're going to load that API key from our environment variable into the API underscore key for open AI. It's now time to build main. The first thing we're going to do in main is driver equals webdriver.chrome. That's going to be our Selenium driver going to boot up Chrome for us. Here is the URL for Craigslist. So it's HTTPS city Craigslist search. This is cars and trucks, min price, and then max price. Now we tell our driver to navigate. So driver.get the URL that we just supplied to it. That takes a little time to boot up. So what we have to do here is a time.sleep for five seconds. That's adequate. Now we're gonna use web driver wait. So wait up to 10 seconds, EC element to be clickable by ID. And the ID that we're searching for is actually search dash results dash page dash one. There are several ways to look for this. That was the easiest one that I found. Once we get that data, then we're going to actually split it on all of the carriage returns. And that's what's going on here. We're gonna get that listing underscore data. We're actually gonna cap the data here and we're only gonna send it roughly 50 vehicles. So we do that by indexing listing data zero to 200. And that's how big the array is gonna be that we're gonna to send to ChatGPT. Here is where we actually engage the AI. So chat GPT underscore response, uh, our new function is gonna be engage underscore AI, and we're just gonna send it that data. Now pop back up above main so we can build this function, engage underscore AI, listing underscore data is gonna be the input there. We're gonna set up the system message first. So the system message is, you are an expert in finding and comparing good vehicle deals on Craigslist. Here is the user message. So given a set of vehicle listings on Craigslist, your job is to give your opinion of which deal is best. You're to give your reasoning and feel free to reference other listings in your justification. I wanted to see why did it make the particular decision. And then here is that listing data that we just passed in here. Here we just set up the messages. So the role system, the system message, and then the role user content and then the user message. Here is the call to OpenAI. So we're gonna use the OpenAI chat completion.create. The model is gonna be 3.5 turbo as it's much cheaper to use. Max tokens, 2048, and then the messages array that we just built here. Then once we get a response, we just uh, return the response back from our function. So we're gonna get this dictionary, answer, choices, uh, element zero, messages, content, and that goes back to the caller. So then what's next is we need to build the send email function. That's going to send an email of all this data that the AI just gave us. And then before we forget, we always need to do a driver.quit to shut down the Chrome Selenium driver. Come back to the top of your function, and here is your send email that we need to build. So we got message subject, message body. We're just going to use this as is. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm going to link uh, another video at the end of this video that will explain how to set up your Gmail to do this exact thing. Let's go ahead and run this again, and now let's look at some more debug. Here is Craigslist popping up again, print some debug. You've got model, price, and mileage. And here is the giant prompt that we send to uh, ChatGPT. And here's the answer it came back, which is a little bit different than our first demo. So it says it found several prices. It really liked this 3,500 range. So the Nissan Pathfinder, the Honda Civic, the Chevy, the Mazda, and the BMW. Then it goes through all this reasoning. So first, let's start by comparing 
uh, this guy. Next, we'll compare this one. Lastly, and here we go. Here's the winner. So overall, based on the available information, the 2005 Honda Civic is the best. What's incredible about this is that it literally took uh, 50 different car listings and just plowed all the way through them. And if anything, that could give you a much better start on your car vehicle search. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe and please comment. As I said before, I'm going to link a video here that's going to show you exactly how you can set up the Gmail notifications. Thanks for watching. Until next time.